And that, folks, is the entire annihilation of our ship. <laughs>to another video and in today's video we are back in floating sandbox and today we are continuing our build of this ship here so if you haven't already seen the past videos basically what we're doing here is we are building this ship based on your suggestions so that means when you guys leave a comment i take it into consideration and sometimes i will feature your comment up on screen so yeah, today we are going to be focusing on cabins as well as some minor fixes around the ship. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Now just before we get to building, as usual, I'm going to run through the comments that you guys left me in the last video. Now if you don't see your comment here, don't worry, I have seen your comment and I have taken it into consideration. But let's start out with winter mapping. They want to see a class system on board, so that means they want to see some lavish cabins as well as some bunks, and those would be for the third class cabins. So yeah, that seems pretty cool. And they also suggest that we should add a dining room and add some guide wires to the funnels. Now, as I mentioned, we're gonna be saving the ropes for the very end of the production. So yeah, we're gonna keep that off to one side for now, but I'll definitely hold it until then. But let's move on to the next suggestion. All right, so this one comes in from H2O Man. They wanna see one to four cabins below the cafe and then see more cabins below that on lower decks. They also want to see Lusitania style engines with fuel tanks just behind that and they want to see a small smoking room just between the forward and aft funnels. So that may be a little bit difficult but we can definitely try it. And they also want to see a cargo hold covering, so we'll get to the cargo holds in today's video as well. Um, we'll actually do that before we get to the cabins. We'll save the cabins for kind of midway through the video once we get some of the stuff I left off in the last video to do, like, once again, the cargo hold. So, yeah. Anyways, our next suggestion comes in from Damien, and they want to see an electrical system as well as watertight doors. So, yeah, as I said, we're going to be getting to the electrical system later on once we have the interior done, but watertight doors are definitely something I'm going to be implementing in today's video as well, just for the sinking aspect. So, yes, thank you very much, Damien. Moving on to J88 Productions, they want to see a propeller and a promenade deck. Now, one thing that I do have to mention about the propellers, and I know I've been getting quite a few comments about where is the propeller, about why I haven't added the propeller, and that's because I'm waiting to put the engines in before I put the propellers in, because I have to run the propeller shaft through the ship first and then I can add the propeller so we're gonna wait till we get to the engines which will be in their own separate video to add the propeller and what you said about the promenade deck since the ship is split down the center we can just imagine it's there so yeah there we are so yeah that has been the suggestions once again if you didn't see your comment in there don't worry I have seen your comment these are just the ones I have featured now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fix this water line because it is very off right now it's way too low so let's get that done so based on what I've seen I have to raise the waterline up to this deck here and uh, yeah this is probably the highest it'll go and then we'll just leave it there so let's get started so it's not a terrible job to do I mean it's pretty easy all we have to do is kind of fill in this area and then we can use the fill tool to just fill that in so what I'll do is I'll just jump cut to when I have this finished because this is not super interesting. I'm not doing any interior. I'm just fixing the water line. So let's go ahead and let's hop to when I'm done. Okay, there we are. So I've raised the water line up. It looks a little funky, but that's what we have to do. So yeah, now we're going to go ahead and move on to those cargo holds because I have yet to finish them up. So let's go ahead and let's build them in. Okay, so the one thing I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in some cloth as maybe the canvas covering. So there we go. Actually, you know what? Let's add it in up here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because we're actually going to have that raised bit on the deck that signifies it's a cargo hold. Okay, so I'm going to make sure this is all set to go here. We're going to make sure that this is pretty secure. We're going to add double thick walls there. Okay, so I'm building down the watertight bulkhead there, and as you can see, it connects up pretty nicely. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fill in the rest of the ship 
with this interior color, this white paint, because I think we should just get it out of the way while we have it here. So let me just go ahead and quickly do that. Okay, there we are. Now we got the paint set in, and now I'm going to build the shaft that goes all the way down into the cargo hold. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's pretty simple. We just have to build that down there, and then obviously we have to erase the spaces in between which isn't too bad. So there we are, and what I'll do is I'll add in some spaces there, and you know what, I'll just replace this right now with a watertight door. Let me do that real quick. All right, so now that I'm looking at this, I think I'm just gonna remove the forward cargo hold because it's just gonna drop right into the four peak, so we're not gonna include it. Okay, let's just get rid of that there, and we will fix it up to make it look normal. There we are, and this should be a pretty easy fix, to be honest. All right, so that looks pretty good. We've cleared off the cargo hold, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some more watertight doors. And I think I'll add one just down here. Okay, there we are. So now we got two doors, and they have a deck separation in between them. So obviously, if the ship is gonna sink, it's not gonna sink super fast with water flooding up through the cargo hold and flooding out onto each deck. It's gonna have to go through a deck to get up onto the next deck, if that makes any sense, but there we go. So now with that set, we're going to keep building. I think I'm going to add in a few more watertight doors, and then we should be good. I know I'm going to add a bunch of them on this very lowest deck here, the Orlop deck. So let's go ahead, let's add those in. Now as I add in these stripes, I got to thank you guys. This series has been doing super well, and I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying it, because I am too. All right, and we're done. So as you can see, we've got the watertight doors down here all set. Now we have to add in a few more on these upper decks, and actually... I might just make those regular doors, not watertight doors. Now, you know what that means. Since they're regular doors, we could just remove these bulkheads with no worries whatsoever. I saw a lot of people making white star line comparisons in the last video when I started cutting down the watertight uh, bulkhead height. But anyways, there we are. We uh, got that removed. And I may remove another one and just replace it with a door. And actually, I want to make sure that the... Um, door fits in because I have a certain door height so I want to make sure that this kind of looks like a door frame there we go okay we got a door there awesome all right so I don't want to get too ahead of myself here so I'm gonna hold myself back let's start with the cabins now when it comes to the cabins I have an idea of vaulted ceilings now you may be asking this ship is really small how the heck are you gonna fit a vaulted ceiling in a cabin well you see you know how I made that reinforced deck just under the cafe? Well, we can remove that. We can just take the bottom part of that off, and then we have a really tall ceiling. So those can be the suites. Okay, we've removed that section here, and now we can actually start building in this cabin slash suite area. Now, I'm thinking I just want three rooms, and this will be one big suite. So we might have a bathroom, a cabin, and then just a lounge area in this space here. So this is gonna be interesting. Let's start building. Now vaulted ceiling, something I never thought I would be able to get in this ship other than in the main staircase. So yeah, once again, a very interesting um, little build here. So let's go ahead and let's add in a door over here because obviously that's gonna go out into a mini hallway. Now I'm gonna add in some portholes as well. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna add in a double porthole here for this room. There we go. Let's do another double one for the bedroom. There we are. And let's do one for the bathroom because obviously we want privacy. So I'll make the shower over to the left or maybe the toilet or whatever. Now let's think colors. Now I wanna have something that looks pretty decent. So I might go with the blue. I mean, blue is a pretty heavy theme in this ship. So let's go ahead and let's do a bit of a nice pattern on the ceiling. Maybe, you know, like some wallpaper or something like that. It was the 1920s. So yeah. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. Now I'll use the cyan to fill it in. Oops, I went into the floor there. That's probably not what we want to do. And I almost forgot we have the fill tool so we can just do that. So, I don't quite like that it's going down to that second level, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this up. There we go. Now for the lounge area, I'm just going to use the same wood that we used in the main staircase and the wheelhouse, and there we are. That looks pretty good. Just going to make a few little touches on the ceiling there, and I don't know if I can add anything else. I could add wooden hull 
However, that will stop water, but it is the ceiling. So, yeah, why not? I'll just add in a little bit of that there. So, that looks decent. Now, the bathroom, I'm just going to leave as that. Because usually the bathroom would just be that metal wall or whatever. It wasn't really lavish or anything. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead. Let's just add in, like, a toilet or something. There we are. And maybe a little bit of a sink. And I just realized that the sink is on the same wall where the door is. So, we can't quite add that, actually. What is going to go there is we're going to add in a door. So, there we are. Because we want to uh, allow water to flood in, obviously. So, there we are. Now, since we are going to have the bunks here, I'm going to remove all of the walls and bulkheads in this area. And we're just going to build up this space. So, let's go. Alright, so I'm going to start from left to right on this deck. So, we're going to build up a bunk. This is pretty simple. We're just going to do that there. This will represent kind of the, uh, the legs of the bunk. And then, using the cloth material, we're going to build in the bunks there and obviously we're going to give them a porthole as well so there we are okay that is one of the bunks and what i am going to do is i'm actually going to make the beds a little bit thinner now we build in the wall and we do the process over again okay so there we are we've got one two three and four bunks on the lower decks there and we have a space here just for a hallway. So let's go ahead and let's add in a way for water to flood this space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the uh, bed material that makes the metal part of the bed. And then I'm just going to add in a few points just over and under the walls. So that the water can evenly flood through. Well, not evenly. I should say it staggers through because it's going to flood up into one cabin fill all the way up, then go down into the next cabin, flood down through, go up the next one, and just repeat the process. So this is going to be pretty interesting to see when it actually does sink, which we will be test sinking it shortly. But uh, for now, there we are. Now what I can do on this deck is I can actually add in a mini staircase just going down. So let me do that. So here we go. Just a bit of a staircase going down. Very, very simple. Nothing too difficult. And there we are. Now, let's move on to making a dining room. Now, you may be saying, where? Where can we make one if there's no space? Well, there is a little bit of space under the pool, just at the back of the ship. So, let's try there. So, we're going to fill the back area in with wood. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to block it off at the stern. So, there we go. Now, I'm going to fill this back in with the metal material. And there we are. Now, luckily, I can actually add in a vaulted ceiling here, so let me do that. I don't know what you would do with this space, but maybe you could add in some portholes. I might as well do that. Now, we can add in some of the dining room furniture. So, let's go ahead and let's stick with the green. So, there we are. We have a dining room, or at least what is supposed to be a dining room. Now comes the part where we have to build the smoking room. Now, this may be a little bit interesting because it has to kind of fit around the cacophony of mess that is the uptakes and the ventilation. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm gonna try. So, let's go. Now, the best bet that I would see is right here, right in this aft portion. And kind of like the dining room, it would wrap around this uh, emergency escape or the uh, ventilation for the engine room. So let's try it. So we're going in with the wood and I'm gonna hope that that works. We're gonna add in some details as well like windows because obviously we need windows. Now I'm also gonna add in some red sofa chairs as well. So there we are. A little bit of variety. That looks pretty good. Okay, so this is coming along pretty well, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I need to make a few more adjustments. Like, you can see here, this is where the dining room would go through, so I'm gonna add some green chairs there, and, uh, yeah. Okay, there we are, so now we got those chairs in, that looks pretty good. Now, I saw quite a few people wanting to see some crow's nests, so let's put one in. So let's add one right over here, it's pretty simple. Doesn't take uh, much work at all just to put one in. And there we are. We got a crow's nest. 
And obviously, we have to add the bell in as well, because, I mean, that's a staple with crow's nests. Okay, there we are. Now it is time that we test sync it, so here we go. All right, there it is. It looks really cool, and it looks pretty decent as well. So let's go ahead and let's rip a gash open in the side of the bow, and let's see what happens. All right, we're hitting a rock. This is the ultimate fate of the ship here. There we are. So we've got a few compartments punctured, and we'll see what happens. So obviously the water is rising through the ship very quickly. It's already in the bunk area down below. And this is not looking good for the ship here. As you can see, it's bubbling up through those boards and making its way into the front of the ship. We will have to add a chain locker in here at some point for the uh, anchor chains, but uh, that'll be in the future. The water is now already at the suites, and the bow is gone. So this is going down very quick. Now, one thing that I do want to do, I know somebody mentioned it in the comments, but... Uh, they want to see me make it so these funnels can actually collapse. So that sounds like a cool idea. We'll do that. Now, as you can see, the water is just beginning to flood into the staircase, but just barely. As you can see, the staircase is pretty much dry, but not for long. There we go. The dome is broken, and the water is pouring in. Look at it rushing down the stairs, too. It's in one of the boiler rooms. Oh, it is going fast. There we go. It is going down very quick. There she goes. The two funnels are gone. The ventilation or the uh, the vents on the top of the ship are now flooding very quickly and water is pouring into the ventilation system and obviously filling the ship. There goes the uh, stern portion of the dining room. This is it. And the dining room is actually still dry. So let's see what happens if we uh, implode it. Oh no, an implosion is imminent. Here we go. Yep, there we are. So I would say that the uh, stern of the ship, near the dining room, has pretty much vaporized, which obviously isn't good. Well then, let's go ahead, let's return to the ship builder, make a few more adjustments, and then we should be good. Okay, so people want to see these funnels collapse. Don't worry, I can do that. But uh, there may be a bit of a problem, and let me explain that to you. As you can see, this vent here, it goes down, but it also touches the funnel which means it's gonna be stuck to that. I can't really do too much about that without removing that vent. So I'm gonna leave it there, but I am gonna make sure that the base of the funnel is made out of something like cardboard. So let's do that. Okay, the cardboard's in there and that should basically let them fall over if we give it a little bit of help. So there we are and I gotta fix this dome as well. It just doesn't seem to be flooding properly. So there we are. Now I'm also gonna add some equipment into the bridge. I've been neglecting to do that for a little while, so let me do that. So I'm gonna add a bit of a wheel in the wheelhouse, obviously, and then we'll add in a wheel right at the bridge level there. And maybe we'll go ahead and add in a telegraph. There we go. And then let me just go ahead and grab this and make a bit of a square or a circle or something. That kind of looks horrible, let me fix that. There we are. It's sort of a telegraph and a wheel but there we are okay so we're definitely getting there um we've got our cabins in we've got a dining room so yeah this has been pretty fun but let's blow the ship up one more time all right so let's see what would happen if there was a sizable bomb inside the cargo hold so here we go and boom well folks the ship has taken flight and it is returning to earth welcome back Oh my gosh. Let me just pause this for a second. Because I have never seen this. Ever. The forward superstructure. Like, right where the bridge and the cafe and some of the cabins were. And I say were because they're crushed. Is bent. But it's permanently bent. It's not returning. I have never seen that before. Well, that is not good. The ship is, well, it's done. Um, there is no recovering it, and it's gonna sink pretty shallow, at least for now. Well, yeah, there it goes. It is uh, now really sinking. But what I really wanna know is can we vaporize the entire ship? There's only one way to find out. Okay, so I fit on as many bombs as I possibly could to the ship, and let's zoom out a little bit, obviously to get it all in one picture. That should be good. And, uh, let's detonate it. Let's see what happens. And that, folks, is the entire annihilation of our ship. 
There is no coming back from that. Trust me. There is no coming back from that. Well then, um, it looks like the explosion was so large we have created a small tsunami. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.